sign of him? Nothing, sir. We've already searched the entire area. What's this building? It's just an old inn. It was closed about a year ago. We searched it and didn't find anyone. All right. Move out and continue the search. Yes, sir! Treasure chest! Mind your surroundings, Crimson King. This place has become the cursed land, the Grimwald Knox. It is a realm where the line between the worlds of human and monster becomes obscured. For you, it is the front line of battle. Come forth, my monstrums, and consume this dark night! White Cat, reporting in. <sighs> Hawk, present. This had better not be another waste of time. Doll here. Good day. Raging Bull, I'm raring to go. <sighs> Renegade, let's get on with it already. Monstrums, meet the Crimson King. 
Now there are six of you. We have a new recruit. I guess we needed the extra help. <laughs> My condolences, pal. <laughs> That's a funny name you've got there, Crimson King. Raging Bull is also peculiar. You all have gifts, each one unique. You use them to exercise monsters here. If you fail to do so, you will be trapped here forever. And if you should die in this realm, your souls will wander it for the rest of eternity. That is the curse which all of you monstrums must bear. You'll obey me here on, or you'll regret it. There she goes again, sounding just as unreasonable as ever. That demented bitch. One day I'm gonna kill her. I don't like it any more than you guys. But this is the only way we can get back to our own lives. The clock is ticking. Now then, shall we begin? Monsters, the time is nigh. Under the red moons, the wicked and the defiant shall be punished. Ascend into this unbreaking night. Unsheathe your curse and smite the darkness. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> I'd expect no less from all of you. Good. It seems the Grimwald Knox has lifted. You have much potential, Crimson King. Your power will be useful in banishing the darkness in the days to come. But... If you seek the truth about the curse, first unveil the mystery of Balduk Prison, Crimson King. We've returned to the city. Typical. Leave it to her to scurry off as soon as her dirty work's done. <sighs> okay, well, I'm gonna go home. I'll be leaving too. Oh! Um... Um... <laughs> you got that right, new kid. I'm sure you've got a lot of questions, but you're out of luck. We don't have the answers you're looking for. We still don't know why we're even fighting. Nor what those monsters are. Nor why the Grimwald Knox comes. Yeah, and what's with those magic bullets? She used them to turn us into these things. Someone's desperate for friends. And we can't leave the city either. You can thank the curse for that. When she calls, we fight. We're nothing more than puppets. I'd rather be Monster Chow than be stuck another month in this dump. Yeah, I love this city, but there's only so much to do around here. Hey, look, they're on the roof! Mama, is that a monster? Shh, it's rude to point. Wait a second, are those all of the monstrums? Yeah, but I count six of them. Is the red one a monstrum too? Oops, we've been made. <laughs> the new kid's outfit sticks out like a clown at a funeral. We should disperse before someone calls the Roman soldiers or the knights. Very well. I shall take my leave then. Okay. I'll go too. Bye, guys! <laughs> Addle! <laughs> I've been looking all over for you after I heard you escaped from the prison. Am I glad I found you before the soldiers did? <laughs> that right? I'm just glad you're okay. Huh? You look... Ah, never mind. Just imagining things, I guess. Anyway, now that you're a fugitive, you really shouldn't be out here. Did you find him? No. We've looked everywhere, sir. We can't let all six of them get away. Call for reinforcements. I want at least one of them in custody. Thanks to those monstrums, soldiers will be everywhere. We better find somewhere to lay low for now. Whoa, that's a lot to take in. So that makes you one of those monstrums? Prison with monsters in the basement, a mystery woman with false limbs, and a curse that won't let you leave the city. Can't say I understand it all, except the part about being stuck here for a while. <laughs> Ain't much of an apology coming out of a wily smile like that. You're enjoying this, aren't you? <laughs> you goofball. Anyway. Before we can do anything else, we're gonna need a hideout. The basement of this abandoned building ain't bad. A 
hidden entrance like that would make coming and leaving a lot more discreet. We can fix it up enough to sleep here. Then we can talk about a plan. Yeah. Hmm, you got it. Yeah. business, so I have to. But I have to be going now. Sorry again!
Whoa! <laughs> Welcome. Yes. Oh, yes. Done already. Come again, <laughs> okay? Back soon. I'll open my wares to you. Name's Maxim. I deal in black market commodities you can't find anywhere else. What you do with the things you buy from me is none of my business. And what I do with the things I buy from you is none of yours. Fail to keep our business discreet, and we'll never do business again. Everything. Just hope to see you again soon. Pleasure. Come back soon. Treasure chest! This is amazing!
Everything's a good choice. Come again soon. Yes! Got one! Treasure chest! <laughs> oh, this is... A treasure chest! is simply reprehensible. Uh, forgive me, sir. But, Mr. Reesh, I made sure it was in the safe last night. Check it again. This has persisted for too long. I will not allow it to damage this company's reputation. I understand, sir. We would like to apologize to you too, Miss Krisha. Uh, me? You don't have to do that. I mean... Not that you don't have to do anything, just that you don't have to apologize. Damn right they're going to do something! <laughs> Krisha, you worked hard to secure these sales, did you not? For one so business-minded, you do not seem to grasp the gravity of the situation. Especially considering it concerns you directly. But those sales were my... What is Pendleton's strategy? Hmm? It's to overwhelm its competitors with sheer capital leverage. I presumed you understood this, Krisha. Hmm, but it seems I was wrong. I'm sorry, sir. <sighs> Alas, I have a meeting with the man in charge of the Roman garrison now. You will assist me with checking the books later, so I expect you'll not be tardy. Yes, sir. I understand. Who are you? Um... Do you know? Hmm. Judging by your attire, I assume you're interested in taking post as a guard here. You'd be more than qualified if you can avoid being outwitted by a single measly thief. Yes, vile leech is the lot of them. That is Pendleton's rightfully earned money. Krisha, Carla. <gasps> yes, sir. What can I do for you, Father? Oh, you're the one. An acquaintance of yours, Krisha? Not exactly. I bumped into him on my way here. You mustn't act so disorderly, Krisha. You'll never be a respectable member of the Pendleton Company like that. Uh, I'm sorry. 
In any case, speak to this man. Perhaps he may be of some use to us. And if not, compensate him and send him on his way. Krisha, I trust you'll handle this. Uh, of course, sir. Carla, ensure nothing goes wrong while I'm gone. I leave the business in your hands. I understand, Father. I bid you good luck. This way, please. We can continue our discussion in the back room. No. Thank you. 